And the portion that, uh, that is uh, the federal portion is supposed to be 75% of the $1 billion that we're supposed to be paying, which is now used to do proposed projects. The $250 million, which is the portion for the states, they use it for different interventions. Uh, but then, in 2006, the then president, Richard Bobasundo, in his own wisdom, felt that he needed a platform or a structure to be able to do this um, a particular intervention. And therefore, he created the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President uh, on Millennium Development Goals. And the first person that manned that office was Ajia Amir Ibrahim, whom some of you must have known. Uh, in her wisdom, what she did then was, uh, in, in, together with other stakeholders, to see how can we appropriate these funds to do a lot of projects and programs, implement projects and programs that will help us to attain the MPGs hopefully by 2015. And so most of the sectoral interventions, most of the interventions in 2006 were sectoral. And then an evaluation was done and it, there was, the key finding was that uh, people were not engaged uh, because the federal government sitting in Abuja cannot go to a local government area and be implementing uh, projects for building clinics, building schools, and what have you. And so in 2007, the conditional grant scheme was introduced.